We reached the weekend. 61 degrees. Yeah, it's beautiful out. 61, the middle of November. Can't complain. I'm with this guy. No. And that guy in the back. Right, Jax? Yeah, he's going for his grooming, so we're gonna drop him off and then uh, <clears throat> go to the post office and UPS and get that stuff out of the way. And yeah, just enjoy the day. Haircut. Jackson, look at the Jackson. Look at the Say hi, guys. Say, look how cute I look. You good boy? Yeah, Jody, say you were a good boy. That's good. You look so good with your new haircut. Show everybody. This is the one we usually bring you guys to, but the other location. And we just realized this one is up the block from our house. We didn't realize the whole time. So gonna get some Main Street coffee. The weather today has been crazy. I just changed my jacket, put something heavier on. It started with 60 degrees and now it's 43 degrees. In a couple of hours, it dropped so quickly and it's only 3.30 in the afternoon. Um, we had some hail, really bad hail before. I'll show you guys from the footage on the dash cam. And, uh, a lot of rain and uh, it's just kind of drizzling now so it's on and off but uh yeah i think the worst of the weather is gone the hail coming down here and it was much worse before this but um yeah it cleared up and now it's beautiful and sunny so crazy this weather really can't make up its mind but yeah just waiting for our coffees to be ready and uh yeah, then we'll enjoy them together. All right, guys, it's the last walk of the night. It's pretty cold out here, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna take little man for a little walk and uh, then we'll head back in. I'm all bundled up. I got my high boots on and a sweatshirt, jacket, you know, and everything. But uh, yeah, you wouldn't even know it's that cold looking at him. I have my jacket on though. That is true because you usually don't yeah, wear a jacket. Yeah. So I guess you guys could tell it's pretty cold. It's like 35 right now. Um, so anyway, this is probably the coldest night we got so far, um, you know, this year. Well, not this year, this fall, the end of the year. <laughs> Cause obviously January was way colder, but we're gonna finish our walk and um, we'll see you guys tomorrow, God willing. So I hope you guys have a great night. Good night. Good night. Thanks for watching everybody. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Sunday night. We didn't really vlog today. We were just running around. Um, I got my hair cut and have a blow dried or anything. I just made them cut it. And uh, just to get out of there really quick, didn't want to be stuck with a ton of people. And then um, we just came to Costco really fast, had to get a bunch of things. Um, so I went in with him quickly, picked out a few things and then left Rosario online. And uh, yeah, so, um, I think he's just getting to the car now, so that's good. But we're gonna head home and just cook something for dinner. I think I'm gonna make pasta with eggplant and mozzarella. And um, yeah, 
that's really it and then we'll be packing some more uh, things we have some more shipments that have to go out tomorrow so we'll probably be packing tonight yeah so that's really what our day was and he's back we got to um, watch church online today so that was nice and um yeah just looking forward to getting home it's pretty cold out and just want to relax and get done what we have to do i got this delicious eggplant and he has sauteing with some garlic oil salt pepper and garlic powder and now we're gonna add the crushed add tomatoes some fresh basil and that's really it now this is just gonna cook we seasoned it with garlic powder red pepper salt sugar and um yeah that's it in the basil I'm just going to put a pot up of water now and let this cook. And then we're going to add chunks of fresh mozzarella to it as well. Okay, guys, pasta is almost ready. Little guy finished his dinner, but he's waiting by his bowl for his one piece of pasta. Right, Jackson? And yeah, this sauce is pretty much done. It's yummy. I tasted the eggplant. And uh, this should be done in a minute, the pasta. And I got my fresh mozzarella prepared. So I think this is gonna be nice. I tried to make it look like we went out to eat since we can't go out to eat. So this is a nice uh, Sunday hefty pasta dish. That time of night, we just dropped off some packages so that our customers get their orders. We try to be pretty quick with getting things out as soon as the orders come through, as long as it's during the day and we can, we get them out. So uh, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. We're gonna head home for a couple of minutes. I have to do Pulmazine quickly through my nebulizer and uh, then we're gonna go get Rosario's car by his bus base at work. Hello. And tonight's Tricap the Fat is brought to you by some baby avocados. Mm, very good. Hey guys, good morning. Happy Tuesday, November 16th. It's exactly two years since I took my first dose of Tricapta. Yeah, I'm really thankful for this drug. It has totally changed my life. It's the time, guys. We decided to come to Brooklyn. Thank you. Grab some pizza and spumoni. I'll show you guys in the car. The best, guys. My favorite since I'm a kid. This place has been around since 1939, I believe. But it is the best. Check out that pizza. Oh, yes. Spumoni. Rosario got one, and then we got two quarts. To take home for me it's only good for a sugar low but that's still good yum yum mm, this is quart number two so delicious i didn't have any spumoni there but i'm gonna have a little now it's cold 30 something degrees and we gotta walk little man i mean i'm not that cold but but the spumoni and pizza were amazing and uh we're just gonna finish our night off with a walk for a little guy the spumoni was worth every calorie i can't say it was worth every unit of insulin for me because I'm actually dropping right now, so I'm using it to cover the low that's about to happen. So I'm hoping it all evens out, but um, it could backfire on me and not bring me up right now. Like meaning I would need juice to bring me up and then in two hours it could really kick my butt and send me into the three, four hundreds. So I'm just hoping that's not the case, but um, I'll hold on for as long as I can without dropping to zero. And with that being said, I uh, hope you guys have a great night and thanks for watching us. Good night. God willing, I'll see you soon. Another hump day again, guys. It's Wednesday. It's pretty nice out too. It's 56. Yeah, it's really nice. It feels like summer now. It does, together. yeah. It feels like summer compared to how cold it's been. But um, yeah, this is a great day in New York. We're uh, just taking Jackson for his walk and then this guy will be heading back to work. And yeah, I got a few things I got to do. So. I got to have some pizza today, leftovers, so that was nice. Nice, yeah. I'm on my diet again, I'm trying to lose some weight. And, uh, it's all about the calorie counting. It's about the calories, so, yeah. yeah. probably like pizza. <laughs> yeah, well, one slice. <laughs> That's all you get, but um, yeah, we're going to head back into the house. I'm going to do some laundry and stuff, do a therapy. It's time for another chest PT, and um, that's really well, it. Happy Thursday, guys. I tell you, when you walk in, don't forget to look up. There are some beautiful trees in the fall time. It's dinner time, everyone. We're having some salads and uh, some burrata. And then we're having fish and some little potatoes. And the fish and potatoes are still cooking. But we're going to start off with some salad and burrata. 
guy took it up a notch. He put the burrata in there. Mm. Just enjoying mine on the side. It's really delicious. All right, guys, I think my fish looks legit. It's flounder. I put um, olive oil, seasoned breadcrumb, lemon juice, and a little more olive oil and uh, some lemons on top. And I think it's going to be really good. Friday, Friday, Friday. Anyway, it is beautiful out. The weather is gorgeous, but it's cold. It's like 40 degrees and it's probably gonna get colder. Yesterday was only 60 something, 70 degrees. And then we got a lot of wind and then came the rain and literally in an hour it drops by like 30 something degrees at least. And it got really cold, but um, yeah, the sky is beautiful today. It's just a little chilly, but uh, we'll take it. New York, November weather. Love the fall. I love the fall too. It's gorgeous. Jackson, you like the fall? I love it. Yeah, Jackson loves the cold weather. Not he will. On the leaves. <laughs> He'll literally stay out here for like hours if we let him and just stand here in the wind. He loves it. Happy Saturday evening, guys. We are really excited. We came to this place called Donut World, which is about like 25 minutes from our house. They make fresh donuts. I haven't had any donuts um, from like an actual place besides like boxed ones like Entenmann's or whatever um, since before the transplant. So I'm really excited to have a fresh donut. Um, I think it's gonna be really good with a coffee on the side. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. But anyway, today actually marks 10 months since my transplant. And um, yeah, I can't believe how my health has completely like made it 360. It's uh, It's just been amazing. So I'm really thankful to Liz for her gift of life. I know I say this all the time, but I truly am. I wake up every day and I'm like, wow, I'm healthy, I'm alive and I feel well. And I'm just so thankful for her selflessness and I'm just thankful to God for allowing it to happen and orchestrating it all. So yeah, I guess uh, I didn't look at the donuts as a celebration at the moment, but I guess we could celebrate 10 months with uh, some fresh donuts. Hubby with the donuts and coffee. Not eating all six, but uh, yeah, we'll save some for later, I guess, or whenever. <laughs> Sunday lunch, guys. I think all we do is show you guys us eating, but yeah. like, I feel like lately that's all we do is work and eat and uh, get some rest. Gotta but, get nourished, right? Yeah, and clean and, you know, all the regular stuff. But I have a small French onion soup here and you got a, a cream chicken. Of chicken. Cream of chicken, yummy. And then I also got... um. A small mac and cheese and we got some chips but I don't even think we're gonna eat the chips probably be full and just save it for another time Sunday dinner time I haven't made fried chicken cutlets in forever but they're just seasoned with some Italian breadcrumb seasoning and yeah we're gonna enjoy this okay here's the cutlets nice and crispy well good afternoon guys if you can't tell, we're headed to Manhattan. I have an appointment for laser on my right eye, which is my bad one. And um, yeah, not looking forward to it, but it has to get done. Mm -hmm. 